A new health partnership opens its doors today, designed to treat the mind, body, and spirit of those suffering from mental illness. KITV 4's Paul Drew shows us how this project will help. Hi, Kevin. How are you? You look like a Japanese Justin Bieber. When residents come into the Kalihi Palama Community Center for Mental Health Services, they're able to take part in a number of programs to help them deal with their condition as they become productive in society. You're seeing programs that help people with severe and persistent mental illness get back. But in the struggle to manage mental illness, many neglect their physical health. So much so that mental health workers have made a grim correlation. A lot of our consumers die anywhere between 20 to 25 years younger than the uh, rest of the population of preventable illnesses. Sitting in the waiting room for the doctor can be an inconvenience for many of us, but for some with mental illness, this may be impossible. Sometimes there are barriers like stigma. People have some shame. People that have family members that maybe don't necessarily understand. People are hesitant to actually access the care. So we do our best to help people learn about what the services are that are out there. It can be difficult going to a primary care physician. It can be difficult even finding a primary care provider. And we need to take your vital sign, blood pressure, weight. That's why the addition of this one exam room at the mental health center is so important. Clients come in and under one roof take the first steps to better mental and physical health. We have a relationship with them. We can bring them directly to their primary care doctor and they can get services right away. Treating conditions like diabetes, heart disease and addiction may not only allow someone to live longer, it could also improve their quality of life. Paul Drews, KITV4 News. The pilot project came at a cost of $20,000 as current staff will be moved around to accommodate the new clinic. If it is successful, the Department of Health plans to create more of these living well centers.